Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Let's go ahead and pop the top on something that, depending on my order of posting videos, you might have already heard about. <laughs> so this is Jungle Gems International Market Ginger Beer. I went down to Jungle Gems a little while ago. There we go. And... Uh, it's a cool international market. They've got everything there. I didn't even get through all the way through the store. It's insane. There's like a bar in there. You can have a drink and then go buy cigars from a humidor and go to all the international aisles. It's sick. Here's ginger beer. Let's taste it. Nice. Nice and gingery. A lot of ginger ales, ginger beers, they skimp on the ginger because it can get a little hot. Mm. That's nice, I like it a lot. Now, the next couple pieces here are chips. I'm a big chip boy, I love chips. You guys know that, I did videos. But these are interesting because I believe these are all Chinese brand chips. So we've got, and they're Lay's apparently, we've got Spicy crayfish flavor. We have <laughs> roasted fish flavor. We have uh, a two in one that I'm assuming is, it, it has zero English on here to help me out, and I do not have my Google Translate up at all. And these, actually, these are from Thailand, so. These first two are both from China, it looks like. This one's uh, from Thailand, still Lay's, but uh, what do they say? Uh, grilled prawn and seafood sauce flavor. So it's a two-in-one. Isn't that fancy? Let's try with the uh, spicy crayfish, because why not? Oof. Yeah, they're fishy. Definitely look like a different texture of chip in comparison to normal Lay's, don't they? That's interesting. The texture of the chip is definitely different. It's not really spicy, but it's very fishy. Wouldn't necessarily prefer those, but they are interesting to try. Because I didn't get enough fish, let's try the roasted fish flavor. I do kind of like their, if it tastes anything like that dish looks, that looks awesome. Let's try it out. Little thicker bags too, it seems like, than what we'd get here in typical Lay's chips. Let's try it. Hmm. I don't even know what to think about that. It's like lighter fish flavored than the crayfish. That's kind of all I taste. Very interesting. Let's just keep moving. Grilled prawn and fish sauce, you know, but they're ridged. Look, they're ridged. It's cool. I like ridged chips. Let's try it out. Okay, not much of a smell there. Yeah, a little, little ridgy chip. Oh boy. This camera is just having all sorts of trouble today focusing. It's fine. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure I taste much in that. There's just kind of like a sweetness in there. 
it's very very light on the fishy scale so it's like fishy less fishy less less fishy I can kind of feel it like accumulating in my mouth the fishy flavor yeah I don't know these uh, very mild kind of a mild chip flavor so those are interesting not altogether my favorite but it is what it is we're gonna end here on a hot sauce because why not and this one oh the cap just went flying this one I don't remember where I bought this this is Louisiana gold horseradish pepper sauce so I like horseradish it's got a nice color to it um, coming out of Louisiana aged peppers corn syrup vinegar salt mustard seed natural flavors white wine horseradish powder citric acid and spices so I don't expect this to be very spicy but horseradish it just all depends Ooh, it smells like horseradish it smells like horseradish and anger bottoms up mm. that's great that is actually really amazing there's the horseradish is certainly there but that mustard comes in. It's not what I would call spicy, but it's it's got a, a, an excellent flavor. Mm. It's such a good flavor though, and it's unique. It's one of the more unique sauces I've ever had. Yeah. Louisiana Gold is right. This is a fantastic sauce. If you find this, or if I can find a link to put it down below for you, uh, you, sh you should try it because it's excellent sauce. Um, never heard of it before. But if you like horseradish, it's there. Mustard, it's there. Not overly hot. That would be a great condiment or table sauce for sure. So there we go. That's all the snacks I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you've tried any of this stuff before, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear it. You know, your opinions, what you thought of stuff. That's part of the channel. Just me listening to you. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them down there for me. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to send something in to be reviewed, the PO box is in the description along with the Patreon link. And yeah, just don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.